All right, word on the street is that uh, Detroit Pistons are shopping Sadiq Bay. Let's talk about it. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. That subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notification, increase the chance of notifications. We go live or drop the video. So, word on the street is that Sadiq Bay, um, the Pistons are kind of entertaining talks. And then you got other. Um, you got other uh, sources that say that, you know, they still trying to decide. I mean, he got benched uh, for Bojanovic. I mean, you got rumors they could trade Bojanovic. I don't know if people kind of towards, like, they need to be trading for help, not trading the way they help, man. I mean, they got to do something. They got to do something because right now, whatever they doing, it ain't working. And they need to just go be bad. They can get get some assets for Sadiq Bay, some pick, a pick or whatever. Bye. He just he don't have no dog in him. He don't have a, enough dog to be a pistol. It's just the honest truth. You know, he put all they put all this hard work in the off season. He just don't. Have, he ain't no alpha. And I told y'all from that three position, Boyanovich ain't what you need. Need he's somebody good to come off the bench and spark some shit up. Or finish the game down the stretch. That's what he'd be good for. But they need somebody at the three position that can defend and shoot threes. That's it. With Ivy and K, defend and shoot threes. That's all you need. Knockdown shooter, defend, get some rebounds. That's it. At the four position, you you know you need somebody that's modern. You know somebody like what Jeremy Grant was before he got here. Can defend multiple positions, can rebound, can catch and shoot. You know, and that's somebody at the five position. Somebody at the five position, defend, rebound, defend the paint, rebound, and defend some of the perimeter uh, shit. And ain't no mystery. That's exactly what they need. But Sadiq Bay, I mean, I'm not surprised. I expect him when Jeremy Grant well was, was going with to pick it up. When I seen him put Boyanovic in the starting lineup, I already knew. He ain't assertive enough. And then Dwayne Casey ain't going to call his number to put him in that position to be assertive. You catch my, you, you catch my, you, you smell me. He not gonna put him in that position to be assertive. Call plays for him. Get him going early. The offense is super duper stagnant. That's what it is. The offense is super duper stagnant. This nigga about to give me a ticket. I wasn't even supposed to do that, but I did it. I nigga just sitting there rapping and shit with his headphones on. Y'all yeah, be wondering why niggas be getting robbed and getting their head bashed. Niggas don't have no awareness in these streets. But, um,. But yeah, Dwayne Casey ain't put him in a position to be successful. But he ain't got a, he ain't got no dog in him. It's like the nigga be out there sleepwalking. So if the coach not gonna call your number, get you in the rhythm early in the season, I mean then he becomes a liability. And maybe he just simply don't want to be here. When you go with that Boyanovic, Bay, and Isaiah Stewart in your front line. We, we know what the deal is. We know exactly what the deal is. We know exactly what the deal is. And the deal is no defense. No defense. 
None whatsoever will be played. So, you know, it's un it's, un it's unfortunate because I love him coming out the draft. He can do a little bit of everything. He can run the pick and roll. He can facilitate. He can post up. He can catch a shoot. He can score. There's nothing offensively that he don't check 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 off check off, check off offensively. Dribble, shoot the three. And he regressed here. And, you know, Dwayne Casey was supposed to be this dude that, you know, nurture these young guys and develop them. He ain't develop shit. He ain't never developed a winning season. And, you know, you got to hope that it ain't too late. You got to hope that it ain't too late for some of these young dudes. He might have already just fucked them over. K might be injury prone. Never know. Like I said, if you're in a position to get Scoot Henderson next year, don't know much about him. I hear a lot of people speaking highly of him. I think you gotta be. I think you gotta pull the trigger on Young Blood and just figure it out. If if, if he really what they say he is. But Sadiq Bay, I mean. You know, a lot of play, a lot of play, a lot of these players get the the blame for it not working out. But this organization has failed each one of these young guys. Other than Killian, he failed us, but nonetheless, they didn't fail. They didn't fail these young guys. They didn't fail them. Dwayne Casey, you know, just say, oh, go shoot threes, go shoot threes, go shoot threes. They they, they take a veteran out so you would think Sadiq Bay can assert itself, and they bring another fucking trigger-happy veteran in and start and start him. Every time you think, hey, man, it's going to spotlight him, and then they don't call this man number none. They don't call no plays for him. If he goes somewhere end up being like Chris Middleton, Damn, man, you got to race niggas in Detroit to get over. I wouldn't be surprised. And to be honest, the one thing that's hurtful about, you know, having Dwayne Casey here is the longer, you know, one bad thing about other than tanking, the good thing is tanking this season, but the bad thing about keeping them here is he going to continue to to hurt these young guys, bro. He's going to continue to hurt their development. When you got a coach that has a, he got his mind set on this is going to be, this, this is going to be, this is going to be the way we do things. No matter what the personnel say or what the personnel is, we're going to come out here and keep shooting threes, 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 keep shooting threes. No matter who it is. Y'all expect to win basketball games like that? Hell no. Nah. Then they should have just took the best three-point shooter other than this besides Jay and Ivy. It just didn't make no sense. The vision doesn't match the, the GM vision doesn't match the coach. And it never has. Reggie Jackson, Blake Griffin, Dick, shoot three, shoot threes, Jeremy, shoot three, shoot three. No matter who was in there, just keep shooting them motherfuckers. We lost. Then they use like 20 some games under him at one point or some shit like they keep shooting threes, keep shooting threes. They eventually fall. Care how nice somebody is, man. If you if you ain't got an owner that's gonna hold his nuts on or stand on, hey man, we win some games, yo ass out of here, Dwayne. You up out of here. You know, your black ass is out of here, Dwayne. Win games. When games the win, win up. And he fails, he fails Sadiq Bay. When well, you got some like, and they fail Sadiq Bay. He don't rebound, he don't defend. Cool. Okay, let's put him in a position where we can get the most out of his ability. Let's call some of them, you know, Rip Hamilton screens we can catch and shoot. Let's put him in pick and roll where he can be the uh the the, the uh the ball handler and create for guys off the pick and roll. Let's get him going downhill and get him, you know, slashing to the bucket. None of that. 
That is basically like just keeping Middleton at the end of the fucking bench. That's what that's what it really is. It's basically like keeping Middleton at the end of the bench. If we being honest, it's basically like keeping Middleton at the end of the bench. Because you got Sadiq Bay out there and all he's doing is standing there. And then, you know, five, ten minutes go by, he just jack up a three and he don't make a niggas mad. I mean, shit, he ain't got he ain't getting no type of rhythm. It's like they had a fucking car shop as they fucking garage. Crazy. <laughs> Some wild shit right there. Unless that's just the car shop that's in a residential area. I mean, that's kind of crazy. But uh but yeah, I, I mean, if you had to say, well, how much blame I give on the organization, Dwayne Casey, and how much blame I get on Sadiq Bay, I get 90% of the blame on the organization. I don't blame that kid. I got to agree with Draymond. Every time somebody don't work out, the player get the blame. The organization gets none of the blame. Look at Zach Wilson and the Jets. They had they eyes set on Zach Wilson the whole time. It wasn't a good fit, obviously. They benched him for Mike fucking White. They benched him. So, like I continue to say, bro, like, they got to have account. The organizations got to have account. It's kind of like some OT taught Matt Millen drafting Charles Rogers. He said, well, I was going to take DeMarcus Weir and maybe when them told me and that's what he was saying to Peter King a couple years ago, like he was going to die because he needed a heart transplant or something. Um, it may you, you know, them talking about what he was saying, well, I was telling me to take Charles Rogers. I knew Charles Rogers had issues and being close to home was going to be a problem. You know? If you knew that, then as an organization, you failed, not only did you fail the Lions, most importantly, you failed Charles Rogers. You know what I'm saying? That's how you have, you know, you got a kid, you know, if you a high school teacher, you got a kid that you know, or a high school coach that you know, man, if he he go, he stay locally, he stay in Ann Arbor, and he go up to Martin Flint for two-year college, that dude, he, he gonna be back home getting in trouble. So, you know, you tell the nigga, you know, or you tell the student, excuse my language, or you tell, the, you know, the parents, hey, man, yo, and get him out of here. And that's what y'all do collectively. You get him up out of here. You know? So, like I said before, I put a lot of blame on this organization. And he failed Kay Cunningham last year, real talk. Did he not fail K Cunningham last year by making him share the ball with, with uh Killian Hayes? And then the coach and I think it was playing the Clippers and the coach took the ball out of Killian Hayes' hands and they started fucking like doing better and winning while Dwayne Casey was out. And he apologized to Killian Hayes after you ain't gotta apologize to shit. It wasn't working. And K started to break out. And that's what a lot of people fear with Jay Nivey, but it ain't the same thing. Ivy could walk and chew bubble gum. To be honest, it was not supposed to take me this long to get out here, bro. At all. It was not. I right, stuck in Farmington, dude. They doing all that construction over there by me and Moses. If y'all know, it's like a it's a burnt spot. And I was trying to get to the bank. It was hard to get to the bank because all the construction. Yeah, if y'all ain't never heard of me and Moses. Now, if you got a problem with 20% automatic gratitude, no matter how, what your party number is, if you're dining in, then yeah, it ain't the place for you. But yeah, they got this cool little brunch spot. Nice little brunch spot. They got, you know, mimosas and, you know, so it's straight. And then there's a little warmer. You can eat outside. It's like uh, when you go to Grand River, you know, by, you pass M5 on Grand River, you go past the Target. And keep going a little bit ways down. There's on your left in a little plaza. So yeah, it's solid. It's real solid. You know, a lot of a lot of people go there. So there are a couple good spots. It's a uh, it's another good breakfast spot right there by that mall in Livonia. 
I forget all his name of the I forget the name of the mall. It's a nice little low-key mall. Uh not Partridge Creek. I forget what they call it. But uh, that's a nice little breakfast spot right there on that street. Once you you come back to across uh it's called the breakfast something. But once you cross, I can't explain it. Like once you're going back towards 96 from the mall, it's right on your right hand side. It's like right next to like a Walgreens or a Rite Aid or some shit. But yeah, I know some good spots around the city, bro. I could tell y'all some real good. Y'all like that video where y'all were on social media. I could tell y'all some real good, uh, good spot, good, good spot. Like you, you know, we with a girl. Y'all just start kicking it, you know, and it look, it look fancy, but it's like the price is a one. I could tell you some good spots, bro. So, thumbs up the video. Check out Detroit Piston Talk playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button. It's the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance of notifications. We go live and drop video. Financially, we want to support the channel. Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link description. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor Cash App, Venmo, PayPal. Peace.